You better lose yourself in the music The moment you better never let it go You only get one shot Do not miss your chance to blow This opportunity comes once in a lifetime You better <laughs> What's up guys? Jason Cardamone in my Eminem gear here Which just so happens to double up as my Rocky outfit So Yo Adrian! Don't worry that's coming in an episode coming soon to you We are here at day 19 video 16 of the Empower Network case study for the last day let's talk about what I've done I have sponsored another few members into my Empower Network team I believe in the last 72 hours which is since the the soccer video that you guys saw the other day and the um, please forgive me for not contacting my list for like a year prior to that those two emails alone brought in about seven or eight members from my list. Um, going into it, I actually thought I'd get a lot more enrollments than that. And what I found is they're actually just slower to come in. I have a whole bunch of conversations going back and forth and a whole bunch of interest in joining. Um, so, it, it, I, what I really want to talk about today, there's two things. Number one is around what's really important in your power network business and the it, so I was listening to some inner circle audios today and it is really it's one of the things I love the most you know I'm really passionate about this company just in the past 19 days you know I've gone from very very low I've got some money but I didn't really believe in a company to the highest belief I've ever had in a company and it's a perfect match for my soul and who I am so I love this um, but one of the things I love the most is the personal development. And the inner circle is all a, a huge component of that is personal development, which is getting positive stuff in your mind every single day. And most people, you know, most people go through life, you turn on the TV, you watch the radio, you know, you listen to the radio going to work, you're blasted by billboard ads driving to and from work. You're, you go to lunch, there's advertisements on the counter of the restaurant. I mean, everywhere we're bombarded by advertisements. And not just advertisements, negativity everywhere. My wife loves the news and God bless her soul, but she does so not understand the whole thing. You need to stop paying attention to the newspaper, the news and everything else. Because all she ever talks about every day, all she, this is, the reason why she talks about this is because what she she's reading is people dying. Somebody got raped. Oh, another kid got killed. Another school shooting. That's all she ever thinks about. So her perception of the world is that the world is a bad place. The media covers this little tiny fraction of society and because it's thrown in your face this big all of a sudden that's all you can see and that's all you, you all of a sudden you begin to think oh the world sucks and so anyway if, if you haven't got my personal development speech you're not going to get it right now except for the two second version of it which is you need to be pounding books audio I almost said tapes audios mp3s videos you need to be putting per positive information in your mind every single day and when you do that it's a conscious process process of listening that's my ear by the way listening or viewing or taking this information in it be it begins to invade your subconscious mind and that's really what controls the majority of your life you think you're in control don't you it's actually your subconscious mind that's making the vast majority of all your decisions you don't believe me okay have you been thinking about your heart beating this whole time well good thing your subconscious mind is running that bad boy so that was number one one of the things I love inner circle plugging into that and results over the last days that so, so really watching my beliefs stay high because I'm plugging into personal development number two I'm gonna have to take a Zen moment here I have to remember what I was it it was something important and it was something good and I got distracted because I just re remembered I got my lights in finally so I'm gonna have all this good lighting and that distracted me from my second thoughts um, oh Eminem <laughs> the whole rapping when I first came on here 
So, here's what it's about. If you listen to those words, you better lose yourself in the music, the moment. You better never let it go. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. That blow means get big. Your chance to become a star, kind of a thing. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. So I I don't think there's any other tricky rap words in there. You better lose yourself in the music. Come on, man. You better never let it go. Yeah, it's all normal English except for blow. I translated that for you. So what it's really about is that song, first of all, I have a, I've always loved that song. And when Eminem first came out, I hated him. I thought he was annoying and just stupid. And I don't know, oh, I know what happened. I watched his movie, Eight Mile, and when I got to see his real life and what he's all about, I freaking love Eminem now. Mar Marshall Mathers is his real name. And I, so anyway, back to that song. That song just, it, that's a song that I play when I'm, when I'm running marathons. It's a song I play, for me, it gives me a charge of energy because of what it's all about and the spirit of the song. And it's basically the, the whole, you know, the story of guy that has not a chance at anything in life, comes from the ghetto, makes it big and blows, you know, becomes a star. And the journey he has to go through to get there and all the times he gets just knocked on the ground, but the reason why he's a multi-millionaire is because he didn't stay down, he got back up. I love the whole, the, it's all in that song, you can go look up the lyrics. And you might have to excuse any cussing parts if you look up the explicit version. So, I, the, the real, what something I've been feeling lately is all of this Momentum and Empower Network, this, I am, I am in such momentum, I don't remember when I felt this kind of momentum for 19 days in a row. And obviously it wasn't quite as much on day one, but for the last week or two I've been completely on fire, it's ridiculous. And I've got so much done, both in my Empower business, as well as with my team system, My Home Biz Builder. I've literally had dozens of comments from these high level marketers from all walks of life from several different countries that are like, Jason, that is the best video I've ever seen you do. Jason, I, I've always respected you as a marketer. My respect for you just went up tenfold. Jason, that just changed my life and now, because I saw you do that, now I'm gonna go do fill in the blank. I've actually had several of those. And that means so much to me. If you're one of those people that, that the soccer video specifically inspired you to just go be yourself and go do something. Thank you for being yourself and doing something that God put you on this earth to do that you've always wanted to and now you're breaking through those barriers. And I will hold you guys to it. I know who you are and you know who you are. So that it, it's really, I am in this huge momentum phase and I really feel like this is my chance and, and you may, you may just be starting out, you've never made a dollar online. Maybe you've made, you know, 50 bucks a month, a couple hundred, maybe even a thousand or five thousand a month. And you may be looking at me saying, Jason, you already blew. You got 10, you making five figures a month and all. It's all in perspective. Because I've also adjusted lifestyle and my family. And so it's, it, it really is, money is just a tool we can use for bad or good but you really have to learn to adjust your financial thermostat in your head, which is most people get very comfortable around a certain income level. So I could talk about that for an hour, but it, it's really, I believe, I, I've always known, I, th so here's what's funny. Since I was a little kid, I've always felt like I was gonna be very successful. I don't know why, I think part of it was Things my parents taught me growing up, and even just, even things like work hard, don't ever quit, be nice to people, always do the right thing, basic you know biblical principles, and but yet neither of my parents they're very successful in their own rights, but neither of them was ever wealthy. You know my family growing up we were pre we are, we started out 
average or even below average and worked, you know, my dad worked really hard to, to get us just slightly above average income. And I don't, it's not double above, it's just, it was slightly above average income. Maybe for a year or two it was double the average US income, you know, back in the 90s or something, or 80s, who knows. But anyway, the point is, I learned some things from them growing up, and I, it, I, the biggest change, because I always had really low self-confidence. My whole, like, literally, until I, even when I was 13, I became really good at soccer, you know, starting at 13, I was playing every day, and my confidence on the field in certain ways was high, but only in the right circumstances. So only on one team I played, you know, played with a lot of confidence, but then I go to like high school and play with these other players that are like a tier above me, like the best players in the nation. And all of a sudden, oh, they're my idols. And they, they were amazing. Just some ridiculously talented, amazing players. Some of them were really good guys too, and some were flat out jerks. <laughs> so, but the, there's, I, I, I lost my confidence around that kind of thing. And that's because I was always like, oh, well, they're better than me, so, and I had this stupid thing in my head thinking I couldn't be confident. If I would have played with confidence in high school, I would have started for sure. But the the point is, let me, let me rewind and unravel this whole chain of stories we keep, this lightning chain of going all these different directions. So my belief right now is extremely high i've always like i was saying i've always believed i was going to be successful this is one of those moments in life where everything inside of me is telling me you put the pedal to the metal and you freaking take this thing as far as you can because there's other people in this company right now making 30 50 100 thousand a month and i know with everything in my being i can at least match what they're doing at least and what's really cool, I see people that are completely average making five, you know, nice five figures a month. And of course I do that in other businesses, but when they're strictly average people, and when I see bring other people into a business like this, realizing, hey, with a little bit of coaching and mentoring from me, because I've gone down all the crappy roads, and I'm sure I'll still go down some as well, but I know a lot of those dark alleys, which ones to avoid, and which ones are the shortcuts to cut through. So, I can now take those and take a new person and guide them, and we can take that person and blow away what this person's doing, to, to really just create this amazing lifestyle for that average person. There is, there is no average people. Everybody has their own unique talents and gifts, and it's a matter of identifying those and working with those, especially when you have a system like Empower Network. Some people are gonna to wanna to get on video like this. Some people are gonna be, dude, I ain't ever getting on a video. I, I can blog, you can talk me into that. Other people are gonna say, I hate writing, I hate being creative, I'm definitely never getting on video, so what are you gonna do then, Jason? Paid advertising, baby. <laughs> we can, there's all kinds of advertising we can do and leveraging other people's stuff. There are JVs you can set up. There's so many things that we can do for a person with any set of talents, any skills, any walk of life to help them to get in power out there and go create a huge empire from it. So that's it. That's what's going on, guys. We will look in within the next five days or something like that, we'll check the analytics. By the way, the last couple days dropped down because I'm late posting my blogs from the last day or two. They're done, but I haven't published them online. So I'm gonna actually do one the second I get back to my computer here. I'm gonna upload this video tomorrow morning. I'll have to load the one from yesterday, and anyway, we'll get all caught back up and get that traffic flying. So guys, another very quick thought. Part of what I believe I can do really well with this is just create videos, get them out there and get a whole bunch of eyeballs on those videos that re that refer people in to Empower Network. That's, that is my master plan on brewing and scheming and gonna figure out exactly the best way to get the, the right, to find the right niches that I really want to. And, and I actually know how to do all of that stuff but you can always get better no matter how good you are at something. So I'm gonna to continue to hone and work in that specific area of identifying niches and keywords and even things like beyond YouTube. I know I've got tons of YouTube videos ranked. I know exactly how to do that. 
I want to play around with some of the other video services and, and I have actually a service that I have that I can actually send it out to a whole bunch of places all at the same time. So anyway guys, hope that all makes sense. I hope you are kicking tail in your life and I hope you are reaching and striving and making steps every single day, putting in personal development, taking massive action and becoming that person that God meant you to be. So until tomorrow guys, to your ultimate success, God bless and this will close out day day 19 video 16 of the Empower Network case study. Take care guys, God bless.